take a minute to talk about a really clever tool. We use it all the time in the shop. This is version two of the Grumman Jack that is made by Bob at Fresh Arrow down in Tennessee. Uh, as you can see, it consists of nothing. It's a bottle jack. That's a hydraulic jack on an aluminum stand and a bar three and a half feet long of a heavy gauge aluminum with a board and carpet and a receiving set. So when you put it all together, it goes on the airplane. And then what you have is a large surface area on which to push up on your honeycomb. Now our airplanes, the honeycomb, you don't put it just in the center. Our honeycomb has real good strength on the bottom of the fuselage, four inches around on um, around the whole fuselage on the front and the two sides, not the rear. But um, what we do is when we pick up the nose, we put this right in front of um, right in front of the bolts that come. through for the torque tube. Uh, that way it can't slip out of position. We can jack it up and get the nose gear off the ground for anything we need to do including removing the strut. And then we also too can put it underneath the fuselage centering it under the gear leg. Along the fuselage to pick up one side of the aircraft at a time to remove the mains. It's a quite clever design. It's not real heavy. It stores out of the way very nicely and it's a nice tool. Thanks, Bob, for designing this. And that is the Fresh Arrow Jack. On the nose, so we can pull the strut. And what we want to make sure is, is that right above here is where we want to put this big spreader bar from the uh, Fresh Arrow Jack. And that allows it that it can't slip out because it would hit the bunk, the holding and the torque tube support. It won't be able to go anywhere. So we're going to go ahead and get the jack in here. And now you can see we have the spreader bar right aft of the bolts for the torque tube. The jack is in position. All that's required now is to jack. And now as you can see the aircraft tire is completely front on the nose off the ground. Jack supporting the aircraft and now we're just going to take out the torque tube. One main gear off the ground and as you can see we've positioned the fresh arrows jack. It's all within the four inches on the outside of the air. Okay let's try this again. Here we've pos correctly positioned the fresh air easy lift jack. Notice that we're on the four inches of the outside of the fuselage. We've positioned the base of the jack slightly aft of the center line between the two tires so we have a good stable platform when we go ahead and raise it and now we're going to go ahead and jack the uh, and as you can see we now have the tire completely off the ground. Spin it around well, it's got good brake tension on it, a uh, good uh, tension on the bearings. So we're going to go ahead and uh, finish the service on this main gear. But this is just how quick and easy it is to use the Fresh Arrow Jack, the Easy Lift from Fresh Arrow. Jacking an airplane. Now this is a jack pad that Shop Monkey is holding, and jack pad goes on the airplane as follows. It goes on the bolts that hold the spindle to the landing gear, the cup underneath it. And we'll show you how it holds. Mm. Okay, where I'll you? pick out some video. Oh, uh, where am I looking? Oh, right there. Okay, so that's that. Down on the two bolts. And so that's what it looks like on the jack pad. Uh, we've actually got this airplane on a set of car dollies. We're moving it around in the hangar. And now we're going to show you how to put the um, floor jack under the bolt head. And we're going to pick up a Cheetah, a much heavier airplane. So stand by. Okay, now we're recording. So here you can see we're taking the floor jack and just catching one of the nuts on the spindle to pick up the entire airplane. These grade 8 nuts can take the load. And here we are picking up on one of the spindle uh, nuts using the floor jack. And that's all it takes to get that tire off the floor. Now you can pull the tire, put a block under the airplane and the spindle, and you are ready to go. So that's how you jack one of our airplanes without a jack pad. 
With or without. With or without, you can do it either way, with the jack pad or by getting by putting the the uh, jack on one of the spindle nuts on the downside and pick it up from there. So we hope you found this useful and informative. Thanks for watching and have a good day flying your Grumman.